Hey guys, uh, Kid Guru here. This is a uh, part of the MB Air series, MacBook Air series. I'm gonna be posting a couple videos on this. Reason being, it's been, you know, it was a hot topic to start off with, and it kind of dimmed down because we waited for, uh, you know, shipments, uh, tests, stuff like that. And then with the SSD boot, you know, a lot of topics spurred up. A lot of videos got spurred up. Uh, you know, there's Emik did a, a, some good one. Uh, you got, oh, sorry, sorry, my words here. Emik did some great ones. Ramen did some good ones. Uh, Mr. Bit started a series called All Things Air. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of videos out there. Engadget did the video, I believe. Engadget, Apple Insider, a lot of them posted up videos on the SSD booting along with the MacBook Air. And, uh, you know, I, I do my Mac versus PC videos. And uh, I, I wanted to hold off for the Air until I got some more info on it and, you know, uh, more people bought it, you know, so get more tests and stuff like that. And now that a lot of stuff has rung in, uh, I'm just gonna sh flip here to this screen, and uh, I'll be starting my own series as well on the MacBook Air. Uh, so uh, I'll be talking about this more often in my Mac versus PC vids. So uh, yeah, until the topic tends to die down again. But anyways, uh, today I'm going to show you a screencast uh, as you see by the topic benchmarks. Uh, now, I do not own a MacBook Air, of course, these aren't my benchmarks, but these are benchmarks from, uh, uh, this is from a site called Arts Tech, Tech, in, Tech, and Techina, I guess you say Techina, it's Tech, I-N-C-A, Tech, yeah, Tech, Technica, there you go, sorry, 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 artstechnica.com, this is reviews of the hardware, and then MacBook Air SSD review. So it's called the it's headline by Jackie Chang. What does one thousand three hundred dollars extra actually get you? That's pertaining to the MacBook Air. So you see here the MacBook Air, and that's just an Apple logo, I believe. I forgot you can get those to customize the logo. Anyways, the tech specs here are a CPU of one point eight gigahertz Core Two Duo, and then the MacBook Air hard drive. Uh, that's the SSD. Here's the actual hard drive, the one point six zero uh, one point six zero sixty gigahertz model. 2 gigabytes factory, of course. Intel GMA X X 3100 144 megabytes, 800 megahertz apiece. Three pounds, 64 solid state in the 80 gigabyte 4200 uh, RPM CAD hard drive, and then the imaginary battery life is five hours. Now here's your uh, uh, benchmarks off of XBench here. This is the 1. XBench 1.3. Test one of uh, one of two. Of course, longer bars are better. Your colors throughout all of these benchmarks are orange is your MacBook Air with the regular hard drive. Green is your SSD. Uh, red is your MacBook, and gray, of course, is your MacBook Pro. So as you see, the CPU MacBook uh, Mac MacBook Pro, of course, does the best in most of these tests. It's a more bulkier, powerful machine. But uh, comparing the MacBook Air with SSD to the MacBook, you know, it's not. It's not leaps and bounds better of course but it is you know it's not leaps and bounds you know of course it's not really 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 low compared but comparing with the MacBook Air for its size and components it does stack up pretty well to the MacBook as you see here now the of course with SSD we're talking about because you see the CPU got 76.93 compared to the SSD with 102.90 and thread thread uh, got 150 and then MacBook Pro got 186 you see there Membrane system, uh, MacBook with the uh, hard drive did a little bit better, and as you see here, the test leaps and bounds, I guess, and the quartz of graphics. Now, of course, the MacBook Air is not really built for your type of open, you know, GL stuff type of stuff, but here we go down to the graphics. As you see here, the MacBook, MacBook Pro, I mean, MacBook, uh, MacBook Air, SSD, and regular hard drive aren't really, you know, built for the open GL. You know, it's not going to be built really for a gaming rig or anything like that. But, you know, it can still run pretty good graphics on there. User interface, though, of course, pretty up. The disk test for just the MacBook Airs, uh, you see there. Now, that's disk test sequential order, meaning, you know, boot after boot, you know, stuff like that. And sequential order. Now, random test, of course, the SSD did do better. Uh, total, the SSD got 57.88, 50.58 for the regular hard drive, 65.61 for the MacBook, and 111.66 for the MacBook Pro. Moving more down, uh, Synbench tests, running the CPU, uh, same colors here. So you see here, the MacBook, Mac, uh, MacBook and MacBook Air SSD are pretty close on, and 
rendering the CPU now. That one is a uh, multiple CPU now. Uh, you know they did. You see there's much more big, huge uh, gap, bigger gap. OpenGL shading. Now uh, the three Mac, the MacBook Airs and the MacBook are pretty much within the same range. There the multiprocessor unit. The SSD did drop in this one. Multiprocessor speed up, I should say, not unit. Uh, SS, the MacBook and MacBook Pro stayed the same, exactly the same, and the MacBook got one, it got 56 instead of 37. Now application tests, shorter bars now, guys, are better because you know you want better, faster time. So exporting a 60 megabyte movie to QuickTime, uh, the slowest one was the SSD here. Build with, with the WebKit, the slowest one was the regular hard drive. You see, huge, you know it's. Uh, much much longer than compared to the other ones. The unzip archive, uh, that's the regular MacBook Air with the regular hard drive, and the PS bench. I believe that's the Photoshop bench. Now, in terms of MacBook Air with Photoshop, it did pretty well in this test compared to the MacBook. Now, shorter bars are better. So you see there, the MacBook did really poorly. Uh, I guess you could say poorly on this test. I got 0.26 for the SSD, 0.20 for the regular, 0.20 for the MacBook. So the one without the SSD here, compared with the MacBook Pro and rotating a 90 degree angle, rotating, rotating 99 degree angles, you see here, you can't really see, it's really small, but MacBook Air in this case, the one with SSD and the one without the hard drive did a great and unsharpening masks, spec, you know, granted these aren't, you know, huge things you do in Photoshop, but you know, common things and even a little bit more advanced medium stuff you can do with pretty fast with the on Photoshop with the MacBook Air. See here again shorter bars are better in this test. So you see there it goes up here it starts going up in the more uh, advanced stuff as in, you know, color half half tone, ex accent accented edges, watercolor, stuff like that. You see it just gets longer as it goes down, lighting effects, stuff like that. But for the most common things it does uh, render pretty fast. So again, going through up down here, Cine it was tested on Cinebench, Cinebench, Xbench, and PS Bench. Like I said, these are the SSD hard drives and your uh, regular hard drives. So the SSD at times can get you a fast time, guys. I'm going to go into boots and stuff like that in my next video, but as I said, it can get you great uh, speeds at times, and at other times, a regular hard drive may do better. Uh, but it, SSD does greatly compare to the MacBook, no doubt. Uh, in terms of it's better, that's your opinion. But uh, it is, of course, MacBook with its release. Don't highly doubt it right from the start. With the SSD, is worth it, guys. SSD, just to show you here. Here, let me go here. Uh, Frugal.com. I saw, th if you actually, I've seen this. Uh, this is a great, by PCmedia.net, I believe it was. Look at the price of SSDs just from Frugal, okay? Uh, now these are express cards, hang on. Now if you want to test out SSD on your own, I would recommend going for these cheaper Lexar 8 gigabyte cards. They're express cards, so they're really cheap. Again, they're not huge storage, but look, we're talking about 32 gig transcended uh, SSDs. Wait, 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 hang on, that's not. SSD sticker, SanDisk SSD SATA. Okay, here you go. SanDisk SSD SATA solid state drive. This is 16 gigabytes, $1,499. 16, 64 gigabytes at 999 isn't a bad price on Apple's part. You know, granted, they do have high prices on some items, but you guys, they have to make, you have to, of course, get, they have to get a lot of money in order to spend a lot of money, of course. That's just how business is, guys. You have to, they have to make money off, they have to make more money in order to get more uh, hardware, stuff like that. You see some of the prices here. Transcend 32 gigabyte SSD 2.5 IDE is only 199, but I want to see. Now this is the two and a half inch IDE. Oh, IDE interface. It has a. Okay, this is a different. Okay, never mind. This is a different type of solid state. So as you see here, they do price a lot, and they're not even the 64 gigabyte versions that uh, are used in the solid state hard drives. I mean, it's, uh, solid state hard drives of the MacBook Air. So the SSD. Of course, you know, for now it is going to cost a lot. We have to see over time when it goes down and how it improves in storage space, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, this is the start off to my MacBook Air series. I will be trying to do as much more videos as I can. Uh, like I said, I want to give a shout out to eMeek uh, and Mr. Bit. They've been doing great videos lately. Check out their videos on MacBook Air. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.